Hello guys, welcome back to Mom's Reaction. Hope you are well and enjoying my video. So guys, today I will react on the rise of the Turkish defense industry, the lies, what lies behind the Turkish defense industry's success story. So guys, hope we, we will enjoy this video and learn lots of things from this video. So guys, let's start before starting. Please, please subscribe the channel if you missed it and press bell button to get the latest video update. <laughs> So guys, let's start. Wow, oh, Turkish drone, yeah. From 2002 to 2020, okay. Oh my God, the music is rare. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Alap, Anakra, oh my god, Sedwan. Oh my god, Dora, Atmaka. So, we are reacting. We are reacting. The, are acting the, uh, the videos, uh, I think the video maker, Naval News. Hope uh, if you want, uh, you can get the link in the description box. Subscribe their channel also. Don't forget. To subscribe my channel. In recent years, many high-tech Turkish-made products have been showcased at the Defense Industry Expeditions worldwide. Oh my Turkish God. weapon systems have also begun to appear in various parts of the world. In 2014, the Turkish-made TCG Haybiliata Corvette toured the whole of Africa and conducted missile firings at the Danel Oberg test range oh off my the coast God. of South Africa. In 2015, another Turkish national ship, Meljum class Corvette, TCG Bukata, was TCB, seen in the Gulf oh of my God. This is horrible, guys. from the War of Yemen. These ships participated in counter piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden and conducted maritime interdiction operations in the Mediterranean and Black. Okay, guys. Under UN and NATO flags. Under NATO flags, okay. Moreover, Turkey started to export its defense equipment to several B countries, five, including four, five. Turkey modernized the Pakistan Navy Agosa 90 class submarines and constructed a fleet tanker, PN the Pakistan. Oh my God. for Pakistan in Karachi. Turkey now building Meljum class corvettes for Pakistan. Pakistan, for Pakistan people, oh my god, they have the mutual contrast. industry has accelerated its indemnization efforts. Up oh until the god. end of 1980s, the development of most of Turkey's defense equipment was outsourced to the U.S. and Germany. Germany, oh my the god. The Turkish Navy was mostly composed of ex-U.S. Navy ships. Oh my Later, god. Later, some joint oh production my god. was mostly composed of ex-U.S. Navy ships. Wow. Later, some joint scary, production eh? activities. Started for shipbuilding projects. After 1987, German-made Nico 200 TN frigates were commissioned. Some of these frigates were constructed at the Turkish Navy Gulchuk Navy shipyard. Throughout the 1990s, joint production activities continued with some of the companies were established by the government to manage projects, such as the STM, which involved in the Turkish Navy National Corvette Program in Belgium. Oh my God. Joint production activities with foreign partners gave Turkish companies essential know-how in shipbuilding. After 2000, a new era began for the Turkish defense industry. In 2001, a technology development zone law was passed, which improved a cooperation among universities, research institutions, oh my and God. production they sectors. Have, they have collaboration with very numerous universities for development of the naval oh my god this is really informative guys and i think the most countries should uh, collaborate with the university research facilities so so that to benefit so on university get the research uh, funding from the uh, government or the uh, or the um, uh, such as like Turkish Air Force or others uh, and university student get opportunities to get uh, involved in the research. The government forced on R&D mm. projects in line with the modernization needs oh of Turkish God. armed forces. Oh, the Turkish I Naval Research Center and the Naval Design Project Bureau were established in the period for the Turkish Navy modernization needs. 
efforts have accelerated in recent years, mm, and the government guys. provided significant incentives to domestic companies. A 90% reduction in corporation tax and up to 50% contribution for investment in land. Oh my God! With incentives and the support of the government, the indemnization rate increased from 20% to 65% between 2002 and 2020. This is real, my God, my guys. From 35 to 65, this is crazy, guys. Really crazy. Percent between 2002 and 2020. In the case of the specific defense technologies, such as unmanned aerial vehicles, wow, this rate is more than 90 percent now. The R&D budget increased from almost nothing to oh my 1. God, this is crazy. Now. The budget increased from almost nothing to 1.2 billion oh my to develop God. high tech subsystems such as hybrid fuel rockets, semiconductors, engines, and photo detectors. New companies were established. In 2002, there were 66 Turkish defense projects with a budget of approximately 5.5 billion. Oh my Now more God, than 600 guys. projects are being carried out with a budget of 60 billion. Oh my God! Lots of them. Oh my companies, God! SMEs, research institutions, and universities working in the defense industries. This is really interesting, guys. For any country, most of the have been seen in the naval forces. With the start of the Milgen project in 2003, four corvettes were built and commissioned. According to the Turkish Presidency of Defense Industries, the ship has a 70% locality rate, which includes domestic oh built combat God. management systems, navigation equipment, sonars, torpedoes, countermeasure systems, electro optics, electronic warfare equipment, and gunfire control systems. Oh my At the God! Beginning, this the plan is really crazy. Right? Corvettes, but after the wow, this is beautiful, guys. Ships, the plan was revised to reduce it to four and continue with more capable frigates. The new five, design one, is two. similar to the ADA class Corvette, with 13 meters more in length. The new frigates have more anti-war fare capabilities, including a vertical launch system. The nine blast. Oh my God. The first ship, TCG Istanbul, was held on the 3rd of July, 2017. The construction activities were continuing. The remaining three ships will be built in a private shipyard. The ADA class corvettes and the first frigates were constructed by the government-owned Istanbul Navy Shipyard. Oh my God! There were also considerable shipbuilding activities in the private shipyards. Years, two Bayraktar class amphibious landing ships, eight fast landing ships, sixteen patrol boats, four coast guard cutters, two rescue and towing, one oh submarine God, rescue, and two really crazy, support ships were built by one private shipyards. Oh In addition God. to these vessels, several small ships were delivered to the Turkish Coast Guard, Turkish Navy, and foreign navies. Coast Guard. Others, Projects of the Turkish Navy include the LHD and Air Independent Propulsion (AIP) submarine. Under license from the Spanish-based Navantia, Turkey is building an ambitious assault ship, TCG Anadolu, which is similar design to the ship's Navy SPS Juan Carlos in Istanbul.、Oh、the Anadolu is expected to enter service、oh、in the last、God. quarter of 2020. Under license from Germany's HDW2 six type 214 AIP configured submarines. Oh my God! The mid submarines. The first boat will be commissioned in 2020. Besides these ships building activities, warship subsystems and weapon development. Are continuing. Oh my God! The most significant ones include a phased array radar for naval platforms, a multifunctional radar that works on X band and S band with a range of 450 Four, kilometers. 450. Oh my God, guys! Fire control canal functions as well. It was fitted on the helicopter deck of a Turkish Perry class frigate in November 2018 and expected to. Activity speed array. Oh my God! Safer. They have developed. Oh my God! This is really important, guys. Be used in the Turkish Navy's new air warfare destroyers. <clears throat> the new version of the Genesis Combat Management System and Data Link systems are under development. 
In a few years, the Turkish Navy will have a network-centric warfare capability similar to the cooperative engagement capability of the U.S. Navy's Aegis system. Oh my god. The Africa anti-ship missile is over the horizon anti-ship missile for warships and is similar to the Boeing Harpoon with a range of 200 plus kilometers. Oh my god. The test of the missile Whoa. is completed and serial production of it started in November 2018. The Akia heavyweight torpedo for submarines and the Orca lightweight torpedo for warships are in development and testing phases. Currently, three main railgun projects are underway in Turkey. The Tufan, S8HI209. Lunla Tufan, oh my god, what is this? What kind of weapon is this? This is really crazy, guys. <laughs> and the Sapon. What is this? The test fire is HI-209 and the Sapon. One kind of microscope, I think. The test firings of all systems have been conducted and the projectiles reach hypersonic speeds of up to March My 9th. God! Oh my god. The railguns will be used in mobile platforms as well. In the oh near future, god. Turkey this plans to build its anti war destroyer, and destroyer oh my TF god. 2000, and National Submarine. Oh the my development god. and production of frigates, fast patrol boats, and other ships are likely to continue. With its ambitions, it seems that the projects will not be limited to these. A modern navy. What? Without, without any people or. Uh, is this sub uh, water board I think but uh, no man involved submissions it seems that the projects will not be limited to these a modern navy especially with smart unmanned systems is oh not oh my far god old. this is really a beautiful navy, guys especially with smart unmanned systems unmanned yes I had it yeah, unmanned yes without is not board. far away at all I Amy, love, especially with smart unmanned systems. I love this design, guys. This is really beautiful. Yes, really beautiful. Is not far away at all. Turkish drone. So, guys, oh my god, I can't believe this, guys. Oh my god, Turkish has developed in many areas, especially in the defense, oh my god, they are making their own uh, industry, um, defense uh, uh, military weapons in their own country, that's the main point of this video, because every, uh, every nation should have the capability, especially, you know, like to kiss, oh, every, lots of enemies there. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please, please don't forget to share and subscribe if you missed it. And press bell button to get the latest video information. And if you have any suggestion or any video request, please, please let me know in the comment section. I'll read all of your comments. So guys, take care, stay safe.